Hi, we're Team Forkia. Yeah. I'm Josiah Grace. I'm Kayla McCarty. And I'm Maria Hager. And we're designing a soap dispenser for a restaurant in Houston called The Passing Provisions. It has to be entertaining and unique, and it has to include some sort of kitchen utensil in the final design. Uh, so to accomplish this goal, we've established six objectives for our design. Um, and each of them come from talking to the, our clients to see what they want out of the device. So these uh, objectives are that the device is safe and sanitary, which means that the user can't injure themselves while using the device and that it doesn't allow the uh, growth of bacteria. Uh, the device must be low cost, uh, roughly around under $50, um, so it's feasible for the restaurant to put into use. It must be easily replicable. The restaurant wants a total of five dispensers, so it can't just be something that we make one of and then we're done. It has to be able to be uh, replicated. Uh, the device must be entertaining and unique. The, we talked to the clients and they really stressed that this is something that they want the customers at their restaurant to come away from saying, wow, that was really cool. Um, so we want our device to be entertaining and unique. Um, it must be easily refillable so that the employees of the restaurant don't have to spend an ordinate amount of time um, refilling our dispenser. And finally, it must be very durable because we want our device to last for a long time and it will see a lot of traffic um, as customers go through the bathroom. So I guess what we're gonna do now is we have our six design criteria, but we're not sure which one is the most important or which one that we should put the most emphasis on. So um, we're gonna walk through a PCC chart, which is going to help us rank and decide um, based off of the information that we gathered while we were interviewing our clients, um, we're gonna decide which, uh, which objectives are gonna be the most important for our project. I guess we better get to it. Cool. Okay, so let's start off by writing out the um, objectives. Yeah, objectives down this way. I think we should keep them in the same order too, right, so yeah. we'll have some symmetry going. Okay, I'll write along the top. And so okay. the first one is a uh, safe slash sanitary, and I think at the end we're supposed to have a sum so that we can find out like which one is the most important. Oh, and you can't compare uh, an objective to itself, so these are kind of null. So I guess we should start by comparing safety to all these other design criteria. If it's more impo if safety is more important than say low cost, then we're going to put a one, and then the zero. So these have to match, reflecting. Okay. All right. So safe and sanitary versus low cost. Safe and sanitary is probably more important. Like from what I remember, them telling us they like the first like requirement for being in the bathroom is that it has to be like sanitary. Yeah. You can't cut yourself on it. And there might be like codes that they can't install it if it's not safe. Yeah. So that's probably pretty important. I um, think also, I mean, the primary purpose of a soap dispenser is to increase sanitation. So if it's not doing that, <laughs> yeah. then the project I itself mean, doesn't work. Low cost is good, but if it's like not, if it's going to injure people, then I think they'd rather pay yeah. a little more. Yeah. Um, okay, so then this would be a one here. And then I guess we'll put a zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, because we have to match it. Cool. Yeah. Be able to make six of them, but have them injure people. And this one's actually interesting. They had mentioned entertaining and unique a lot. Like, yeah, that was heavily emphasized when we were talking to them. Does that still mean that safety is more important, or? Um, I think that with safety, there can there's going to be so many people passing through this restaurant that it can really there's a high risk associated with any yeah. type of like safety flaw. So yeah. I think it would still have to be. And more I think important. that entertaining and unique is like kind of like the secondary goal, but I think it, like first off, has to be like a functional soap dispenser, yeah. which it wouldn't be if it's not safe. True, because they can't put it in at all if it's not safe. Right. Right. Got it. Okay. okay, that makes sense. Let's give it a one then. So what about durable versus safe and sanitary? Well, I mean, I feel like safe and sanitary comes before durable. But I mean, if they, we install a soap dispenser that only works for three days, then that's not really helping the restaurant at all. That's true. But it almost seems like though they couldn't get to the point where they actually install it unless we can prove that it's safe and sanitary. I think that makes sense. I guess and also like if it's if it breaks then it's kind of null, but if it injures someone then that's like a negative effect. Yeah, so I think it's that's more probably the point. I guess. Okay. okay. And so we have the sum. Which would be, right. I mean, I think that did pretty well, but 
So I guess we'll find out what that means in the end. <laughs> I guess since oh. these are con safety sanitary is consistently better than all of these, yeah. so we have to make these oh, yeah, they kind of add symmetric. One, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so let's down. fill that in. Easily replicable. I guess we should first define that. Um, so that was they wanted. Oh yeah, they want five of them. Okay. Yeah. And so. they want just they want somebody else to be able to look at our plans. Oh yeah, because if we ever decide to like stop or they need another one after we're done, then they need like a way to do it again, right? Uh, low cost versus entertaining and unique. I feel like for this one, entertaining and unique should win because um, that's something they really stressed yeah. to us is they wanted to be something cool and exciting. Yeah. And if they were really stressing low cost over entertaining and unique, they could just like go buy a normal soap something dispenser. Off the, yeah, normal liquid soap. Yeah. Okay, so low cost is less important. And durable versus low cost. Well, durable, if it's really durable, it can save them money in the end because right. they only have to pay the fee once. Yeah. So I feel like low cost is less important than durable. Yeah, because it's like a balance, I guess. I think also for durability, they were saying that um, it has to withstand 300 uses per day for five years, and oh. which is quite a bit of traffic. Yeah. Standard, yeah. <laughs> so and I think uh, we definitely need to focus on that is to save the money in the long yeah, run. Right. Sounds good. Um, so, zero here, and one more on the... Okay. okay, so it looks like low cost ended up with one point. They really heavily emphasize the entertaining unique factor. Mm -hmm. That's the primary but, motivation behind our design. But they also really emphasize durable, like they gave us the specific numbers about how much they mm -hmm. wanted to be used, so it's not just like, we want it to last uh, some period of time, like yeah. they have really specific ideas about that, and that's really, it's kind of a high standard, so I think we should factor that in too. The criteria like, is that the two have to add to one so we can yeah, each make so they want it to last for long. Yeah, I think we can do that. Awesome. It almost seems like that might be a good idea. Because like they're kind of yeah. two sides of the same coin. They like right? dovetail pretty well together. Yeah. yeah. Kind of the same logic as before. Easily like refillable, it's important, but yeah. it's not quite as important as it lasts them for a long time. Okay. So this is two and this is three and a half. Okay. Awesome. So now, I think, I mean, we have like scores, right, I guess. So then ranking them so in terms of it. most important. Yeah. So it looks like the first one that we had was safe and sanitary. So it seems like safe and sanitary was like the big winner. I wonder and, why. And it's like when we were making it, we didn't even really have to discuss it with each one because yeah. we knew it was going to win because it's the most important. I mean, I guess our logic behind choosing safe and sanitary is that the project, even before it gets implemented, it would just be yeah. an automatic failure if, if it, it wasn't happen. safe and sanitary. It's not really like a sliding scale. It's like it has to be safe yeah. and sanitary. Does, does that mean that it's a criteria rather than one of our objectives? Or a constraint. Or a constraint. Ooh, yeah. Because it's like, oh, yeah. it's not something like, our device could be a little bit more entertaining and unique, but it like, it's a line. It has so it to be has safe to be, yeah. yeah. So I think that's actually a constraint. Okay. So I think... So we should probably label that as like a constraint. And so we should not have put that into our yeah. PCC chart. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so, so now that we finished our PCC chart, we can kind of look at our objectives and see what's most important. One of the things we realized was that safe and sanitary actually turned out to be a constraint with our design, because it's something that has to be there before it happens. And um, so that's why it easily won and we can kind of move on and remember not to put that on our PCC chart next time. And then we figured out that entertaining and unique and durable kind of dovetailed as our most important objectives. And what that tells us is that the restaurant really wants it to be cool and for it to look cool, but it also wants it to last for a really long time. And so I guess that's what we found out is the most important for our design. So then the next most important we found was easily refillable. Um, easily refillable is right above low cost. And it actually, the two of them tie into each other. Because if it is easily refillable, it'll save the employees time, which in the long run will help out um, with cost. Um, and then low cost, we said that's the constraint of $50. Um, while it's still important, we still found that easily refillable would be more important. And... Our, at the bottom of our list of objectives is easily replicable, and 
uh, we still think this is really important, but we hope that if we accomplish all the other objectives, it will be less important because it's something that the restaurant won't have to deal with for a really long time. So by uh, doing this PCC chart and creating this list of objectives, we've really given ourselves a very good basis about how to make decisions going forward um, with our design.